what is going on boys and girls of youtube we're back at it my favorite gods pretty much ever is basically the the overall goal of this just going over each of my favorite gods in spite in each role my glasses are dirty is what it is we did jungle yesterday we played mercury which shouldn't be a surprise to any of you who watch the channel all the time still probably my favorite god in the game but this is actually a really close up there i mean it's a non-assassin so it's not gonna be my favorite but definitely competes one of the most fun gods overall in smite i think and we're playing adc so maybe you'll figure it out maybe not hit the like button make sure you subscribe let's get into this and see what we can do i love i love playing wolf I there's just something about it once you hit full CDR on him and you're able to just roll through your abilities over and over and over and over and there's nothing they can do about it it is satisfying like it is it it's awesome it's a good feeling so we're gonna go full CDR rush like we were talking about so we're getting transcendence we're getting our Jotuns we'll probably go brawlers before hydras because of their team comp they are uh Pretty heavy healing focus between the Heimdall, the Medusa. Hebo's probably gonna build Lifesteal, then they have Erlong ult, and they have Terra ult. They have a weird team comp. They have a, wear, a, wary, a very weird team comp. I'm trying to figure out where everyone's going. I'm guessing it's Terra support. Heimdall, ADC, Medusa, solo, maybe? Hebo, I don't know. I don't know. Do I help Red? Wait, what? Wait, what is happening? What what is happening? Oh, they're doing a different start. I was like, what is going on? They don't know the starts. But, uh, there we are. Get it, buddy. Get it, pal. All right. So we have the Maui lane. The Ma dude, the pressure that we should have is kind of nuts because I have high kill potential and the Maui has a really good control in lane. So between Maui's in your face his cc his clear we should be all right unless they have some very strange team uh, okay it's a long shot maybe not they have a lot of clear they have aoe autos between both of them we'll see how this goes honestly my maui played that perfectly so that's sick and they're just backed off already and i'm just gonna focus on clear Okay, my stance change didn't work. That's weird. That was so strange. My stance change didn't go off. So I'm just trying to clear and poke at the same time. Overall goal, not lose too much health from creeps. Oh, my multi potion here. There we go. Good play from my Maui there. So I went hyper aggressive. They were still level one. He just hit level two on the Erlong. Like literally as I went in, he finally hit two. At that point, there's no way he's getting away. I'm on top of him with an axe. There's just nothing he could do. Use my mana here to get this secured. Pick it up, Mr. Mount. My Maui's playing literally exactly as he needs to. So shout out to him. And I'm not even worried about over aggressing. We'll just keep focusing on this farm and should be good. We have a really, really good regen with the blue stone too. Yeah. I love the burst clear that you have at all. Your lane clear is usually kind of bad, so try to pair him with someone like a Maui or a Sylvanas or anyone who can just pull. What the heck? I don't have enough mana. We should still kill him. Oh, I missed. Auto, auto, auto. Good body blocks from this guy. A little late, but good body blocks. I'll take it. I'll keep autoing, dude. I got, I got nothing to lose here. It's one to one. Who just died? Oh, my rat was a little bit, literally at one health for like 10 minutes. So kind of makes sense. I, as much as I'd like to invade because we have a lead, I'm not going to. It's a really easy way to throw the lead you do have. Let's just get out of here. We'll go get our farm. Yeah, just go for ours. I, I know everyone wants to invade. You have pressure. You want to invade, but it's just not worth it. It's too risky. Even if you steal it, it's not that much farm. It's more of what you're taking away from the enemy team. Um... But it's too hard to not just get rotated around by the jungler in the mid. If he's going to let me solo and pressure them, that's fine. This might actually work out. I just need a regen. Okay. That's two rat deaths in three minutes. Not what you want to see. I'm coming, Maui. I have enough to do some damage. Oh, 
Oh, they got it. Uh, yes, good job, dude. Worth. Sucks that they got it, but he hogged. <laughs> the the airline shed still had his hog from level one, and that's why. It's kind of funny. A lot of people save it on accident and get no real use out of it, and he actually was able to secure his buff because of it. All right, we almost have transcendence. Uh, because of the way the lane's going, I'm going to save up for full transcendence. Usually wouldn't recommend this, but we're not far off. We need 350 gold. That's going to be kind of no time. My Maui's still chilling around here too, so we're pretty safe. Tower damage in. Mm -mm. When the lane gets like this, it's just about not over committing anywhere and throwing away your lead. That's really all it is. Like you can keep being aggressive, just make sure you don't over aggress. We're still gonna kill those creeps. We do want to make sure we're getting the last hits. Getting the last hits is important. He knows I'm Oom, so he might try to fight me. I'm kind of okay with it. Ool has the highest base defense out of any hunter, so you guys know. So you are tanky. Like, you're very tanky. Like, look at this guy. He came in. He came in the thing. Why did you save him? You see his pathing? He goes right and left. Right and left. He strafes the same way over and over again. He probably doesn't even realize it. So he's actually super easy to kill and aggress here. Ooh, I'm so low. Your middle tower is under I'm gonna back out right now and hope no one shows up last second. He really risky, 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 really risky. He risked that, and I don't know why. Like, he fully committed to that, and honestly, there was no reason for him to do that. He knew I had my beads up, so there's no world he's getting an ult off. Uh, if he'd have played ranged, if he, you know, he'd have TP'd out right away, just got range on me and played for the autos, that would have been smart, and that would have given him a chance at winning the 1v1. Now, yes, he can. He has safety in his ult once it's back up to just throw me out and eat me away. But I should have full pressure and I have early transcendence. He's going light, he's doing double lifesteal. So his lifesteal versus my full power, and I have the full power in line before him. So should be able to pressure him out. I'm gonna last it a little bit here. He's doing purple, so I'm just gonna chill. Eh, okay, I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. I don't think he's done the scepter yet, so I'm not going to last it here. I really want to get this. The pressure you get off of clearing with this is so good, nice. Just able to stand in the way of an auto and have this hit everything is wild. I don't know why high put this in. I'm gonna pop my health potion because I took a little bit not using abilities there. He more than likely, uh, he'll either play back until his ult comes up or his ult's already up and he's just gonna start trying to fight. Oh, Oh my gosh. Oh, I overshot it. Unfort. He really can't leave the tower now. I'm going to clear because I have the scepter, which sucks. If he backs, that's perfect. Please back. Nice. Him backing there was really stupid. My scepter was going to auto push this wave. So he could have waited and just regens. Now he's going to miss. Unless he TPs in, he's going to miss creeps. Like automatically he's missing creeps here. Look at how fast you clear. Just just extra damage, man. High res is like here. Everyone can have damage. It doesn't matter who you are as long as you aren't the drone. <laughs> this guy's trying to sustain. Attack. And I respect it. It's it's smart thing to do. He's got the he's got lifesteal. But we're just gonna play up in his face and be hyper annoying. Yeah, he wants to poke. We're just not letting him. I'm missing too many abilities, though. He should be one health right now if I was hitting everything. He is low enough for us to aggress on him. We have beads back up. I want to jump on him. His purple's coming up soon. There it is. His purple just dropped. Oh. I'm trying to bait him off the tower so he thinks I'm I'm killable. Cause I do have my beads. Yeah, he's so scared, dude. Getting our stacks up. Once we have transcendence online, getting that CDR will be extra helpful in fighting this guy. I wish I had more health potions though. 
Is that killable? I'm gonna play this guy's purple. I missed. We're gonna kite him around, see if he chases or see what happens. I'm gonna head towards mid here. Oh, okay, this is what I was worried about. No, the ADC got to me. Oh, I got his ult. No, that's so unfortunate. My mid was losing while both of them were chasing me around red. Overcommitment on my part, but definitely kind of crazy that my mid is losing a 1v2. Is it Hebo jungle? It's Hebo jungle. I don't, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what was happening there. <laughs> I kind of want to get away with no ward. I really want to get away with no ward, but I'll grab it just to be smart and safe. So Heimdall ult is down and my beads are down. Uh, would normally suck, but because he ulted and missed, we're kind of in a good spot. I don't even know why he ulted in the first place. I was dead. I didn't have CDR online. He was playing like I had CDR online already. I would like to know, I wish I could watch that mid fight because I think they won it somehow, but it just seemed, it played out so strange because I had the support and the ADC chasing me around. So who were they struggling with in mid? <laughs> All right. Oh, no, no. Nice, huge wave. Huge wave. Oh, we fully stacked up. Transcend and CDR online now, get our health pot ticking. And I'm gonna go back to being aggro. I don't even care. Oh, he's so scared. He he doesn't know how to play Heimdall. <laughs> so he's playing Heimdall to try to auto attack cancel like that, and that's not how that sh that works. There we go, one health. He, he's he's auto attack canceling or trying to auto attack cancel when he shouldn't be. He needs to be playing around his safety still. So now he's probably gonna back, or he's gonna go to that purple. He's going to purple. I'm going to try to contest him. him. Goal here is contest him and make him either back off, steal this, he'll ult me, or he'll miss wave. Oh, he didn't even go for it. Interesting. Trying to help mid if I can. It's not really a good fight. All right. <laughs> well, that was the easiest kill of my life, and they killed the Terra. So I'm gonna head back towards this guy. Is he gonna play up? No, he's backing off. He's gone. He knew. We got a free purple invade. We got full pressure. We got a free rotation kill. We're in a great spot. We go get Jotun's online. I'm gonna try to farm out closer to a Brawler's here. So I'll get all the neutral farm. I'll get this wave, neutral farm, and then maybe one more wave if it's safe. And we'll take that back. We'll probably get tier two brawlers if we have enough gold. I don't I don't know if that'll quite be enough gold. For you. This thing has so much HP, which makes sense, but I hate that it's just so basic. It's way too basic. Your right tower is under attack. Yeah, we, sh we should be able to after one more wave. I might even be able to kill this guy. I have beads. And I doubt he obviously doesn't know if I have beads or not. He wasn't in the team fight. And the Medusa just kind of got clapped. So let's see what we can do. Long shun's coming, so we're gonna dip. Oh, and the Hebo's here. All right, three people here. That's unfortunate. I knew our Long Shen would be coming. He's gonna have to help his boy, but I didn't realize the Hebo was already in the lane. That's unfortunate. I missed the ward, or he looped under. He might have passed underneath. Very, very likely he just passed underneath, which is fine. That's just my bad. I should have backed off and got my items. I was talking about how being greedy and having uh, have this much gold, but uh, it is what it is. Now I can go blink or I go Aegis for the Hebo. I'm gonna go blink. You want consistent play, you go Aegis here, you do not go blink. Blink is hyper aggressive, like over the top. You just wanna make plays. Um, really only would do this if you feel like you're having a big game or you just feel like you're way better than the people you're playing against. Uh, ideally you go Aegis so you can never get one shot by the Hebo. 
that would be way more valuable to you than being able to make a single play all right sad i'm so sad that hebo i hate you he was five kills he's just killing all like i don't know what's my team is struggling with they are struggling No idea where this dude is. I'm gonna start playing around mid rotations if I can, and then maybe we go for gold. Wait, is this up? Oh, I thought it just respawned. Alright. I'm gonna back up a little bit because I don't have my beads. He really won't be too big of a threat here, to be honest. Alright, so this is a actually a really good spot for us to be in. He's healing so much because we don't have anti-heal yet. He's getting a lot of regen without anti-heal, but we have brawlers coming up. More than likely, I'll just go for my purple here, unless he fights. He's fighting. I'll kind of. I'll f oh, where long shun AFK? Where long shun typing? Oh, his immunity was still up. That's crazy. Oh, no! He just killed me. He just killed me! <laughs> oh, that's so sad. He pulled me into the Medusa, and I couldn't. <laughs> turn around. All right, well, we have anti heal now, but the problem is now it's going to turn into four and five man grouping because my team is struggling. I'm, I'm so lost. If the Medusa's there with ult and the Orlong Shen's there and the Heimdall's there, who killed Maya Wheelix? I don't know what's going on. I would bet this is what's going on and probably that soul laner must be rotating around. Uh, but I'm not 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 certain. I'm a little lost right now. You guys are playing Ratatos from the solo lane. Build defense. You're build. You're playing anybody in the solo lane. Build defense. Stop trying to get away with like he doesn't even have his acorn yet, which is crazy because the acorn is really really strong. Stop trying to get away with these weird builds. You're trying to make the game harder on yourself because in your mind you're like this sounds like fun. It's not fun. Getting getting wrecked is not fun. I promise you. Being one three and one at 16 minutes, basically not playing the game, is not fun. In no world. I realize an item can sound fun, but it doesn't work out like that. Yeah, you, you're anti-heal now, so I'm gonna... We're just gonna wreck him now, because he can't just stand there and sustain. Plus, we have more pens, so we do even more damage to this poor guy. I'm not I'm not sure he knows how that matchup's gonna go now if I'm hitting my abilities. If I'm missing Oh. Okay. Uh Erlong Shen. I think he might have rage quit. I think they were type raging at each other, to be honest. I don't think he was AFK or disconnected. And then as soon as the guy dies, he leaves. It's kinda strange. Don't worry, we're still dying in mid on Radathos. Try to get to this fight. I have blink, so I can get there really quickly. Nice pull. Nice job from the Wheelix. I don't know if this guy's coming back. Honestly, I'd be surprised if he was. Alright. Alright, he's back. Dope. So I'm gonna run out. I'm not gonna sit here and farm this Heimdall as hard as you know I could wait once I have Hydras online this guy is so screwed are we doing this feeling a little bit I guess we're just TPing in here I don't know this Terra acted like I didn't see her TP in and then hear her dash I don't know what's going on. I have a feeling she might dive me. I 
I have a feeling. There's no way we give him free gold off that, right? Oh, there, oh. Okay. You guys can kill the Medusa, right? On my way. I'm gonna greed this. I should have backed here because I really want to get my my hydras, but uh, I'm gonna greed that. Hopefully my team can handle that fight. I mean, I destroyed that Medusa. Got hydras online, grabbing a health bot. I'm gonna grab a counter ward for the boys, and I'm out. We gotta get back to this fight. Looks like the Hebo's about to kill my rat. He's got a three level lead, and my rat does not know what he's doing. But we could definitely do some work over here. Coming. I doing okay I don't, that guy might actually be lagging i don't know nice. i'm all just dashed out we saw that appreciate the hebo being on the other side of the map don't know why he was doing that to himself but thanks yeah, that guy might actually be disconnecting he kind of ported a little bit there when i went on him but he was in that fight fine so i don't know a lot of people are at home playing from their home setups and their home internets and getting kind of wrecked by it so it wouldn't surprise me if it's something like that causing it. We're in chunky phase though. With this Hydra's online, full CDR. If I run into you, you're getting clapped. If I run into you, you are going to catch the hands, but I'm gonna push this tower a little bit. Just because I can do so much damage to it for free. How much damage you do for free? It's crazy. He's mad too. Any last wishes? Hebo might be rotating over here. An enemy has returned to me. That is nuts. This doesn't take his tower. Your middle tower. That shell just saved his life. The shell saved his life and then he W keyed into his death for some reason. <laughs> okay, dude. That was a good shell, honestly. It, it negated a big portion of damage coming out. And now he turns the corner and the guy's like, oh. <laughs> I think the Heimdall might just be baby raging because he can't play the game. I truly think he's just over it. On top of if his teammate is really disconnecting, it'd be frustrating. Counter ward down. And he'll kill this Terra and then we'll do fire. Alright. Oh, he's getting my ward. He just countered my counter ward. I'm pissed. You both can make a play so easily. Alright. Good job, gamers. I wish Soul Eater. I don't really wish, but if Soul Eater had a little bit more power, it'd be such a good item to build into an ability ool it would be a cracked item combo we can go get our starter there's so much farm up though i'm gonna go for this gold surprised they're not on the gold i don't know why we're chasing oh i was gonna go for gold but my team is fighting randomly and it's the rat leading the charge <laughs> one in five nice kill for my mid laner why did you save him Oh, we just got so much gold. I'm sitting on 3,000 gold and we're fighting still. This is how you throw games. Like, this is 100% how you throw a game. It looks like we're going to win it because these guys are potatoes, but... Oh. I should have killed that guy. I missed an easy ability. We're just going to dip. Don't want to mess with that. Upgrading our blue stone. And then I'm going to go into some pen. I kind of want dominance, but I can't afford to just go dominance. It's not enough pen. Oh, uh, might go Titan's Bane here. It's either Titan's Bane or we just get a Heart Seeker. Heart Seeker only put us at 20% pen. It is a good amount of pen, but it's not a ton. It is a lot more power, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we'll just go Titan's Bane. I think Titan's Bane is too valuable. That's too much pen to just give up for no reason. And notice how that game, the game went from fully in our favor to now the enemy team's back in it. 
simply because this rat keeps fighting instead of going for objectives when he's already way too far behind so he just goes in he ults away he goes in he ults away that's baiting your team that's like massively baiting your team all right he almost got he might have got bees no i don't know if he did we're gonna go back to securing everything. I want to get this game into a real situation where we're not just fighting in mid lane over and over again for no money. No value, no objectives, nothing. I'll push out one wave here and get a back. It'll give us our Titans main, and then we're in the biz. They're probably gonna get gold or fire off of this bad fight though. Okay, okay. You're fighting in mid for no reason. Relax. Take a chill pill there, buckaroo. Whenever you're going into a fight, obviously if your team starts to fight and you got to help them, you, you can't do anything. But if you're part of the beginning of a fight, look at like why the fight's happening. Like what's here? What's in mid lane? Literally nothing. Okay. Why are we fighting? Here? He's going to go to red. And I'm going to contest him if I can. He's going to kill it really quickly. He has ability Medusa. Should I hit that? They had a lot of wards though. I just walked over a ward. You see the passive proc from Heimdall? That means you walked over a ward. So whenever you see that debuff pop up, it's literally telling you, hey, they know you're here. <laughs> like that's basically what that debuff is telling you. A lot of people don't know that. Um, all right, looks like they did this. I might just push to Phoenix. I can't get this team to group. So my best bet would be to maybe pull one or two people over here and try to fight them by myself. Which I don't necessarily want to do, but I'll do it. I just wish I knew where the rest of them were. I need to see them in right. Do gold. Come here, do gold. Come here. Gold. Go gold. Gold, gold. Yeah. This should be doable. It'd be way easier if I had lifesteal for me to just solo this, but I don't have that option. They both died at fire. Neither of them got their ults off. Neither of them even had wards down. That's crazy. All right, you're trolling. There's nothing to attack in left lane. They're going to back. Shut up. There's a reason you're five and seven. And it's not because you're a great decision maker. I can push pretty quick, so I'm gonna push this. Looks like four, at least four of them are there. Maybe all of them are there. I don't know if I'll be able to get this Phoenix without a full wave. What I can do is tank here for a second. Got him. Problem is, I think they're going to let him back. Put him back, Your defend, make sure they don't end the game. So we're still in the game very easily still in the game we just go up right here keep the wave push get to the tower and we should be in a good spot that hebo got worked that hebo got actually worked he uh, he straight w keyed into me and i don't know why realize you do take damage in your ult on hebo um it doesn't work the same way like uh, an immunity leap does, but you do have a slight immunity frame. It's it's really weird, but if you mess around with Hebo, you can see you can take damage in Hebo and you can die in Hebo. You are not immune to damage. So uh, I think he might have been charging up that all and just died. I don't know. They lost their whole fire giant.
and I got a Phoenix, so we're in a decent spot. We're in a not the best trade in the world, but it's a trade. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, I'll kill him. Is he both mad because I killed him? He's frustrated. He is not. I'm not talking about killing him there. He did that because I killed him earlier. That was over the top. We have a 3k pot already before the 30 minute mark. This is filthy. This is a filthy game. I've been farming so much this match. I'm going to start taking a red buff. Way more valuable in my hands right now. I have you know, almost 500 power already. No fire giant. Um, getting red buff. We'll the ship us over 600 or over 500. Sorry. Yeah, almost at 600 power. That's ridiculous. Remember, your power does not cap. Yes, if you go here and you look, it says 400 power cap. That's not how it works for mages or for physical. You go over that number. If anyone is looking for trouble. Oh my gosh, the damage. <laughs> the damage dude the, they're all dead the damage was crazy that was three people i almost killed Terra. i almost killed heimdall and the medusa got poked running through it holy crap that damage was wild the auto i did i did four almost 14 hour damage in two hydra's autos thousand damage. what is Terra building Oh, he's full damage, Terra. I respect it, but it's not going to get you a dub here, bud. We should be running around right, clearing it out, and getting pressure in the jungle right now. Healing up a bit. Gotta jump, gotta jump, gotta jump. I saw the Hebo out of the corner of my eye, dude. He's still looking. This Hebo is still mad. I don't know how we're losing the fight, but our rat is on the wrong side of the map, so that would be why. That sucks. Our rat has actually not been grouped at all. He's one and nine, and he's never been in the group. He just ulted in and completely misses all. Hey, you gotta kill. He got a kill. He still hasn't upgraded his acorn <laughs> at the 31 minute mark, dude. What? Nice kill, mid laner. Good play. Why haven't we upgraded our acorn at the 31 minute mark? I'm gonna heal. Oh, he died under the tower. That's unfortunate. He got the Phoenix. That's crazy. I don't have an, a bow. Oh, there we go. The bow wasn't showing. Unfortunately, they got the Phoenix, but now we go for fire. All right, they, we got mid Phoenix too, so it's one for one trade on the Phoenixes. Cancel that. Attack fire giant. Do fire, okay. it's free. Let, let's see, did he get his acorn yet? He did! He got his acorn at 32 minutes. Gaming. Right, this should be doable. Honestly, I don't care about the long shot right now. I care about the Hebo. This Medusa might also be a problem, too. Yeah, it took a lot of damage, so I'm going to go heal. Much as I can. I'm only healing a little bit off of this. I am regening this, so that's good. Nice play.
be able to kill him here. He tried. He tried to hit me with the flippily do, baby. Not happening. I'm gonna pressure up here and try to kill this Medusa and end the game. Attack the Titan. Oh wait, our creeps are already on the Titan. Watch, I'm gonna blink past these creeps and kill this Medusa. Oh, it won't let me stand switch again. That, it's been happening over and over again. I don't know why. All right, we should be good though. Medusa's got this. Nice. Boy. You up in six, that's game. GG boys. GG, that Terra tried to blink past me and then turtled me real quick, bro. That wasn't happening. I got another three K pot of my, my uh, bag, 4,200 gold ending. Woo. Ooh, that was crazy because I think I was 3-2-2 two, and two at one point that game. If I'm not mistaken, what I end? 16, 16 and 3? 16, what was my final? KD, that's why I love Ool. Like, he, he used to fall off late game at one point, you know, in Smite's history. I went 16, 3, and 10. At one point, Ool was not a late game god. Now, he slams. I did 51,000 damage. My mid did good damage. Their highest damage was their Heimdallir. Who had, no, no, no. Their mid. Their, no. Their Terra did 45k with that damage. But what a beast. They're saying to report the Terra. So, he was probably baby raging the whole time. Almost guaranteed he was baby raging the whole time. What a cry, baby. So, that's the match. I had a blast. Ool is by far my favorite hunter in Smite. One of my favorite gods in Smite. I don't give it a lot of credit it because it's not actually that good in the jungle so i don't play them all the time if i'm playing serious games that's why someone like mercury and circuit are higher for me but ool is a fun 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 god and if you're good at him the just the spam potential that you get out of him the the play potential you get out of him is nuts hopefully you guys liked the video if you did hit the like button make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the video later tomorrow the next day the next day and the next day